I was in uh, Geneva at a global conference being hosted by the World Health Organization, which was looking to tackle and eliminate uh, rabies around the world uh, by 2030. I was taking part in one of the expert panels um, with an audience of something like 350 delegates from around the world. The conference was really an extraordinary event, bringing together not just uh, major intergovernmental organisations like the World Health Organisation, OIE and uh, FAO, but also government representatives from around the world coming together to tackle the issue of rabies in dogs and in people. You know, the majority of um, people who get uh, rabies uh, from dogs and from dog bites are children under 15 years of age. Over the years, many in many countries, what we've seen is dogs being poisoned with strychnine, shot or clubbed to death in inhumane uh, ways that actually don't tackle the issue of rabies in people, um, but do cause great suffering for dogs. This will all take on a, a, a real uh, momentum shift over the next uh, 20 years um, as intergovernmental organisations, governments uh, and NGOs uh, such as World Animal Protection come together to really uh, focus on tackling rabies. And our role has been both to develop uh, partnerships and, and case studies of how we can tackle rabies uh, while treating dogs uh, humanely. Uh, our role has been to lobby uh, organisations such as the World Health Organisation, um, the OIE uh, and many governments um, to take a humane approach. So the next step is uh, obviously to set out a, an action plan uh, that will start to tackle country by country, region by region, um, you know, rabies once and for all.